Hello guys and welcome back. Today I am doing a, another get ready with me, um, but I do have a couple new products. I have here in this little pouch, by the way, this is sent to me by a subscriber and it's such a cute little uh, makeup bag. It's smaller, so I just put like my lip products in here, but I can take this with me to, to go. Anyway, we have the new Hourglass lip liners and lipsticks. I have four of each, so I'm gonna try those out for you. And then I just put a bunch of my other products in, in this bag. I have here a new Chanel, this is new to me. This is the Chanel Powder, Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. I've been testing this out for, I wanna say three weeks now and I thought, why not use it on the camera? And I was gonna show you how this Westman Atelier set this. I've shared a reel with this on Instagram and I think here on YouTube, but I thought, why not use it in a video? So grab yourself something to drink. I have my water here and Andrew told me he would make me coffee, but he didn't. And he already left with the kids. So there's that. This mirror is so dirty. Um, I always get questions about this mirror. It does kind of light up here, but I don't have batteries in here. This, I got it in a FabFitFun, and it is from Impressions Vanity Company. I like it, it's great, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing crazy about it, but I do like it. I feel like the image is clear when it's not dirty. For a primer, I'm actually taking this Sicily powder. This is the Blur Expert O Light, and I've been using it on top of makeup and under makeup. This is a very expensive product, um, but putting it under, it almost will blur the skin and act as a primer. So you can use it both ways. I have found that it works well under over even though it's a powder you're like oh no i don't want to put that all over but it works that is the powder on i don't think you can tell much from there but you know i do think it helps with blurring for foundation i brought two in here i have the valentino in very valentino and then the dior this is the face and body right yes this is the one i wanted to use but i kind of feel like it's gonna be too dark and then the Valentino is like that perfect shade for me. But I really wanted to use this. Ugh, I may just have to use the Valentino, which is a beautiful foundation by the, the way, um, because the Dior is just a little bit too dark for me right now. I have been loving this foundation, but they're sold out everywhere online. So I, I guess I assume that they're discontinuing it i don't know i may be wrong or they're reformulating it i have no idea but it's a beautiful beautiful foundation by the way this brush is the collab between nikki and bk beauty and they are being sold separately now which is incredible this is the n17 this one and then this is my favorite n14 so if you could only pick two pick these two, they're incredible. So I will try to not forget to link it down below um, because before they are only sold as a set and now finally they're sold individually. Absolutely worth um, every penny for this set. I am using all natural light today. So if the light changes a lot, it's because you know the sun is in and out but I'm really enjoying the more kind of laid back, relaxed videos. We're in my bedroom and it's actually quite clean. You know, sometimes it's like clean the background, but there's clothes everywhere. Not today. Today, Andrew and I folded clothes. <laughs> We've been st stuck inside because it's been snowing for a week straight. And you know, the first few days you're like, this is so fun. It's great. The kids love it. We went sledding. And then now it's like, ooh, I could be done with this, you know? I could be done. For concealer, I am gonna use the new Fenty one. And mainly because I wanna give you an update of what I think about it. I've been wearing it quite a bit. And I've decided that I like it. Um, I was kind of going back and forth with like, do I like it? You know, is it just too crackly or thin for me? 
but I've decided that I actually quite like it. Whenever I did have an issue with it, it was because underneath I either put an oil or I, you know, touched my face. If you've seen my full review, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's such an easy concealer. It's beautiful, stays on the skin really, really well. I've seen some people not powder this, which kind of surprised me, I guess, a little bit, just because for me, it's so, I don't know, emollient almost, where I feel the need to powder. But I've seen some people not needing to do that. By the way, my mirror is all the way down here. Maybe I should put it up here or hold it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I have a pimple coming in right there. Hmm. I have to force myself to not pop it. That is self-control, my friends. The color that I used is the 225N and um, it's the darkest one that I have and it's still a little light for me. So I feel like I should get maybe the 240 or uh, I did go in store and kind of swatch different colors and I found a good one. I just can't remember <laughs> which one that was. I didn't purchase it just because I have so many concealers now and I have like three shades of this. Um, but there was a better shade for me. This is a little bit brightening, which I don't mind. I think it still looks nice. But um, if you want like a perfect shade, get maybe one a little bit deeper than 225. And if you want just a little bit of brightness under the eyes, kind of like what I have now, then 225N is good. I like the undertone of it. So yeah, I'll make it work. I think it's, it's nice. I decided to use the Rose Ink Bronzer. I haven't used this in a long time, but I used to love it, so. This one is in the color Kawaii. I think it's the second lightest, if I'm not mistaken. But it's been a while since I used it. And it's it's a really beautiful bronzer. So I wanted to get some use out of it. I feel like this year I would love to focus on older products. Products that I've been loving and just give them a little bit more love. I'm always gonna review new products, but I just kinda wanna be a little bit more selective of which products I wanna use, you know, or review. I have reviewed quite a lot of products last year, and I just felt like so many of them did not make it into my favorites or daily products, and I kinda knew when I purchased some of them that they're just not my style, they're not products that I reach for over and over again. So I wanna be better about that this year. I wanna just buy the things that I know I'm gonna use or like, and obviously what you guys wanna see, of course, but I think that, that there's a balance in that. There's so much wasted product, and um, I just don't wanna be, I don't know, wasting that much product a little bit around the lip area this is an amazing bronzer look how smooth that looks and beautiful hopefully the camera will pick up just how pretty this is because in person it looks so blurring and smoothing okay see discovering products that i have in my collection that i love that's amazing. So now I wanna share with you guys this set from Westman Atelier. When I'm recording this, it's still available, 40% off. Um, I didn't put the products back in because it is a pain to take these out, okay? So, but it comes in this beautiful box. You get a lip balm, glassy, squeaky clean thing. Squeaky clean liquid lip balm, I was close. This is in the color Nectar and I'm just gonna put this on just to moisturize my lips. It's a beautiful kind of not see-through color it has a little bit of pigment but a lot of shine and moisture I actually really like this formula I have the color noom noom I think something like that but it's really really pretty and it actually does moisturize your lips i like this then you have the lit up highlighter in biscuit now this one is an interesting color i feel like it's a little bit cool tone i really should get some wipes here so this is the color the lit up color 
I can't tell if it's focusing or not, but I hope it's focusing. Uh, so it just, it's a little bit more cooler tone. And then I'm going to swatch the one that I have here, the nectar color. This is more, a little bit more peachy. It's barely noticeable on the skin. Honestly, I feel like you can't tell. Let me swatch the other one next to it. So here we have the color nectar and then biscuit. So you can see there's definitely a color change. And this is just a little bit deeper and a little bit more cool tone. Than biscuit. So for my skin tone, I still prefer the color nectar. I think it's just kind of invisible on the skin. It just gives a nice glassy look to my skin. I had some questions about this and the packaging. If it's the same, it's magnetic. It's pretty much the same packaging. And then you get a blush, which is what I'm going to use today. This is their powder blush. And to be honest, this is why I bought this set and having it 40% off, that's amazing. I also love the lip balm as well. So this is in the color Petal and I brought my original color Petal um, here so I can compare them. I have here the cream color Petal, which is probably my favorite color from West Men Atelier. So this is the cream one, this is the powder one. You can tell that the powder is a little bit more neutral, not quite as rosy, but when I blend the cream one into the skin, they're definitely much more similar. There is another set from West Manitilia. It has three minis and it is, again, 40% off. So I think it's $45. So you get two different color sto stories. One, you get the biscuit contour the petal blush and then the um, i think it's the nectar highlighter and then the other one you get the truffle bronzer and i don't know what color blush <laughs> and highlighter but one's for lighter skin tone one's for deeper skin tone that is again absolutely worth it 45 dollars, even if though they're minis absolutely worth it okay so i'm taking a little bit of this blush and adding it here. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. Very natural yet pigmented. So, you know, you kind of have to be a little bit careful. I was actually quite surprised how pigmented this is for West Manitalia. I thought surely she would make something that's just a little bit more buildable. So, you know, got to be careful because this is pretty pigmented. I like take a lot of it off and then go onto my cheeks but I like it I think it's beautiful this is how I would wear my blush I don't need to build it up more but for the camera just so you guys can probably see the color a little bit better I will build it up a little bit more the formula is incredible she needs to come out with just a lot more colors individuals if you're like me you're probably purchasing this set for the blush, the powder blush. This is, I think, the first powder blush that she ever came out with. Now for the highlighter, I think I'm gonna skip the cream ones because I feel like I have quite a lot of powder on. Usually I will wear the cream highlighters when I have very little makeup on and I just want that glassy skin-like, but I just wanna use my Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in 05 Rosewood Glow. It's like my favorite highlighter right now because it's not super intense yet it gives a glow you know the color is more you know rosewood can you see right there there we go it looks much deeper than you know I would normally wear but I just love it I think it makes it a little bit more kind of glowy rather than a highlighter and it's beautiful I love it. I'm slightly obsessed with this. I know I've talked about this in so many videos, but look at that. I love it. Let's move on to the powder. This is the Chanel Le Beige powder. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. The color is in O2, and I've been testing this out. I really like it. Let me find the brush first. I'm going to check under my eyes to make sure that it's not creased. Um, so I have been testing this powder out for 
a little bit and I really like it. I, I know there's a, like almost like a cult following around this powder, but it's really that good. I feel like it just blurred. It's perfect for dry skin. Like if you have dry skin and you want a powder that doesn't cling to your dry patches, it's just beautiful. This is really amazing. I know it took me so long to try it out, but I think it's it's beautiful. It's it's what I reach for on the daily basis. Now, I would say that it's not as like blurring as my Givenchy um, for under eyes. I think this does a better job under the eyes and it sets better, but this is more of a um, easy powder, kind of everyday powder, not necessarily under the eyes. I, I did end up putting it under the eyes, but I think this is just pretty kind of all over. Before I move on to brows and eyes, I'm gonna set my makeup. This is the Seattle London Everyday Vacay, and this is more of a moisturizing, glowy product. And then in this thing, I have the Milk Makeup. I think it's called Matte Poreless, something like that. I just hate the packaging of that one, so I put it in this old Lila B face mist. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Yes, I drench myself in this. I just feel like because I've had so much powder, I've had powder underneath the makeup, over it, I feel like I need something to completely soak all of that in. And then I will put the milk one just to kind of set the middle of my face. And that's about it. While this dries down, um, I'm gonna do my brows real quick. I'm using the Fluorasis. This is the brow pen. Uh, I have no idea the color. I don't know anything about this. It has kind of like that weirder, almost diamond-like applicator, but I really like this product. I think it's really good. It stays on well, um, mostly for somebody with thicker brows that you don't need a ton of work done. I think it's great. It's fast. And then I have the new Rare Beauty Brow Gel. And I'm going to put that one on top. But I first just want to kind of clean this up. I like that it's not too pigmented. And um, that way it's just not too heavy. The color is also really good for me. It's a little bit more cooler tone. I don't like when there's warmth in my brows whatsoever. And then the Rare Beauty Gel, Eyebrow Gel. I've heard so many good reviews on this. And it's great. I love it. I've been wearing it for a few weeks and it really is that great. I don't tend to be one that needs laminated brows. First of all, they would look absolutely awful on me. I would look like just bushy. Um, but I do like this one. I feel like it stays in place. It doesn't leave residue. Um, so yeah, it's nice. I like it. There you go. On the eyes, I'm just gonna do a little bit. I have here my YSL Couture Mini Clutch. This is in the shade 100. I did bring the 300 as well here. This is kind of like more brown. This is more, I guess, cool tone. I'm leaning towards this one. I don't know why. Oh, actually the lip products are quite warm, so maybe I should use, use the 300. I may just, use this one. Starting off, I'm going to take this like mid-tone brown and just use it a little bit all over. I don't want a ton on my eyes, so just very minimal. I don't even know if I'm going to use the sparkle that comes with. I think I just want a wash of color. Although now with a clean girl being out and the mob wife being in, I don't know. I feel like we're going to see a lot more eye makeup, a lot more darkness, smudged liner, darker eyes, which honestly, I love. I love that trend, okay? I like the clean girl vibe, and I'm not much for trends. I'm not somebody that will follow trends, but I've always loved that, like, really big hair, like, really dark eyes, like a nude color lip, uh, a fur coat. I've always loved that, seeing that. It's just always been something that I enjoyed a lot. Um, I just remember my mom wearing like fur coats and things like that. And I was like drooling over them. Um, so 
I don't know, I'm kind of here for something more than just like slick back hair. Maybe it's just me, but um, yeah. And again, I'm not somebody who is gonna follow trends. I don't feel like I change my closet or my outfits to match a trend. I usually just try to figure out what fits me best. And honestly, through so many pregnancies, I've like lost weight, gained weight, 40 pounds here, lost 60 here, then gain another 30 with each child. And then, you know, it's just like my body has gone up so and down so much over the past 10 years that, um, I don't know, you know, you don't follow fashion <laughs> that much when, when that's an issue. Hopefully now that I haven't been pregnant in like three years, my body's kind of finding its happy place. But because of that, again, I've never followed a lot of trends. I never like bought clothes just because they're trendy. I like classic stuff, but I also like a little bit of something. Saying all that, a fur coat, mm, I may just have to pull a trigger and find a fur coat. I wanna go to the vintage shop, like not the all new whatever Zara will come out with or you know I want to go to a vintage shop and find some good old fur coats um I, I just feel like that would be really cool I will use an eyeliner I am slightly obsessed with the Victoria Beckham cinnamon color it is such a good color it's kind of like a brown with I mean cinnamon it really looks like cinnamon it has a little bit of sparkle through it and I just think it works so well um, it's not black so it's not quite as harsh but it gives um, just some definition to the eye I really like it and I take it on the lower lash line and in the waterline as well not all the way in just because that would close my eyes a little bit too much but Kind of on the outer area and honestly i'm just going to take my finger and smudge this just cleaning this up a little bit maybe taking a fluffy brush yeah i like that it's such a good liner i feel like it makes an impact it gives definition but i don't feel too closed off this one and the fig i've been wearing a lot i feel like the fig is i actually have it right here the fig one is more purpley and I think it works so well with brown eyes I just I love both of these I think they're incredible I'm gonna stop there for the eye look I'm just gonna put mascara and then we're gonna come back and swatch all those lip liners and lipsticks from Hourglass Hourglass came out with new lip liners and matte lipsticks this has the same packaging as their regular lipsticks but this has like you know a more matte finish and then the product is matte now i was very excited about the lip liners i am a lip liner junkie i need to stop um so when i saw that they came out with lip liners i was like yes i ran to nordstrom picked and swatched some and then the lady there she's like oh do you know that they came out with new lip lipsticks and i was like yeah but i'm not interested and then i swatched them and i was like whoa 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 those are so light and creamy and beautiful and so yeah here we are with four lipsticks at home but let's start with the lightest one which is expose 01 and here let's see here i'm gonna swatch it right here this is Expose 01, most like, I guess, basic one. I will say that all of these are very warm leaning. Even the cooler tones are, you know, they're, they're warm. Um, the second one I picked is Flaunt 2, which is this one right here. It almost has like a peachiness to it. You see? Third one is Temp 3, which I think a lot of people are gonna love it's that one right there and then the last one is uncover four which is just a little bit a little bit deeper right there so again these are the four shades that i picked up this better be focusing <laughs> Now I swatched the lipsticks here. So the colors are starting from here. 
magnolia, which is the lightest one. Peony is definitely a little bit more brown. I think this is tulip and then poppy. Definitely a little bit more. I guess some of these are more summery colors, but I like them. Let's start with the color exposed. And this is, I would say, kind of my lips, but better. It's not too cool tone. It's not too warm and it's light. So this is the color Exposed, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. And then I am going to use Magnolia, which again, is probably my favorite color because it's the lightest, most nudist one. Then these are very pigmented. So the way I like to use them is to kind of almost tap them and then spread them out. If I put too much, it's like just too much pigment. But if I just slowly pat them in, oh, that's just such a pretty combo. It's definitely a little bit peachy nude. Um, again, it's just the finish is so smooth and it's kind of shocking to me that it's so thin yet so pigmented. And I just feel like it makes the lo lips look a little bl blurred, you know? Yeah, I just, I have a lot of lines right now. I've been sick. So everything is kind of yucky, but this one still makes my lips look very smooth. And I like it. This is the one I've been wearing, this combo, was the one I wore in an Instagram story and I had so many questions. And what I did with that one, I actually took Poppy and added this color right here in the center to, to like brighten up the center and blurred that out and that was the combo that I wore on that Instagram like post or story I can't remember what it was but yeah I just think it's so so fun I like that combo and I have to say that the liners last a long time they're creamy they glide on really well um and they're like, they're like creamier than Makeup Forever ones. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath ones. I am recovering, so I feel like I'm a little bit sweating. <laughs> so if my face starts swelling, sweating, it's because I'm, I'm still a little sick. Okay, let's move on to the color two, which is Flaunt. And this is a little bit brighter. And I thought I liked it in store, but those lights there, I swear, they just need to fix the lights in makeup stores because you can't, you can't see anything. Uh, but I don't think I love this color. I think it's a little too bright for me for it to be a nude. But let's pair it with, with a lipstick because honestly, I haven't really worn this color I've just swatched it and in store I loved it let's use oh I feel like hmm, poppy or tulip tulip is more pink so let's do poppy I'm gonna pair poppy with this this poppy shade is so pretty definitely a summer shade but hmm such a pretty shade. Okay, that actually works really well. Uh, the lip liner and the lipstick together, they work well. Yeah, this color Poppy, it, it, it's beautiful. I really like it. And again, I like putting it in the center of a nude lip. It just brings a little bit more brightness. And I just really like patting this down, almost smudging it. That is the color Poppy with the lip liner number two. And I actually think it it works really well. I think what I like so much about these lip liners is that they're they're so long lasting, but they're, it's easy to kind of trick the lip as well. You know, some lip liners are too dry, um, so it's hard to like fake your lip a little bit but if they're too creamy or too glossy almost you really can tell where you overline or correct it things but this is just such a good formula okay temp three so this is supposed to be a little bit more cool tone but as you can see 
it's really not that cool tone. I do really like the color. I think it's really pretty. And I'm gonna pair that one with the pink one, the color Tulip. I actually really like this. Um, it's like a really pretty pink. Definitely summery. Again, I feel like they should have brought these lipsticks out in the summertime. <laughs> It'd be perfect. And then smudging these together a little bit. That's like a really pretty, more pinky shade. Um, I do think that this color Tulip, if you pair it with a lighter lip liner, it won't be as intense. It will be more pinky. But, you know, that's how I paired it. And I think it's really pretty. I like this combo. And both of these are very, very long lasting. Okay, moving on to the last one, which is more brownie. Uncover 4 is the deepest one out of all of them. And this and the number one are my favorite. I love brown liners. I feel like I'm becoming sloppier and sloppier applying these lip liners. Uh, I'm just kind of ready to be done. My, my back is hurting. I don't know, Andrew and I, we both felt really just off this past few days to where like, if you touch our body, it would just be in pain. Almost like you had a body infection, but I don't think we did. Anyway, using the color Peony, this is a nude brown and I think it pairs really good with the shade 4 liner. I also feel like the light is just getting darker and darker. Um, so this is the combo with Peony and the shade 4 and just for the heck of it I'm gonna put the color Magnolia in the center to lighten this up. I think this color Magnolia is my favorite because I just put it in the center of everything and it just makes it better. I don't know how to explain it, but it's such a good undertone. Uh, the consistency is really nice. So, okay, those are the lip liners and lipsticks from Hourglass, to be honest. I think the colors are a little bit different than other ones. Like there's not regular nudes. They're just a little bit different. The liners, I would say swatch them um, just because they tend to be a little bit more warmer than I expected, but the formula is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. They last so long. Uh, the lipsticks are just so creamy. I read that they put almost like a lip primer in it and you can feel it. It almost just smooths your lips. Um, and you guys know I am a matte lover when it comes to lipsticks, but this, I feel like it has a slight sheen to it where it's not 100% matte and it's not drying whatsoever. So that's it for now, guys. I'm going to let you go. The sun is leaving us. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, we can do more of these. And if you enjoy the relaxed bedroom kind of style, I do want to do some lifestyle vlogs as well. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I would love to just take you throughout the day in my house and kind of show you like what I do for my hair and like I guess my clothes and I don't know organize that makeup with me or things still revolved around beauty um but I just feel like there's only so many reviews that I can do before it becomes way just too much and I think doing some other style of videos would be would be fun so let me know if what you think I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video Bye.